This video explains how to program a script data transfer for a GOT2000 from Melsec Mitsubishi. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller and here is the way on how to program this script. If you got your project open, you got um, the project tree that you can choose actually down here. And in this project tree, you have an item which is called script. And in this script item, you have another one that is also called script. And if you double click on that, you can add a script, choose your script number right here, choose the name. I just put in a GOT data transfer and this script needs to be triggered and how this trigger actually works i will explain in another video this time i'm gonna set it to sampling which means you can choose how the sample rate will be in this case i'm just gonna leave the default setting to one second to a one second update and then you can once you got this chosen, you can just click OK, click OK on here and also on here. And now you can go to the script list and you can see your script that is created right here. Edit the script and then you have your continuous device operation, operation operator and then you just double click on this block move right here and you already got a description open where you can see on how this script is gonna be working and I'm gonna leave the GD200 as the starting address and I'm gonna put the D1000 in in order to transfer this data from the G200 from the GD200 to the D1000 in the PLC and this is gonna be two volts long and if you got this description written you can just go ahead and insert it put a semicolon to the end which is just as a C plus language and you can give it a name where you can say whatever GOT data transfer to PLC. This is just a brief description on it. You can choose whatever you want to write in here. And you click OK. And you can close this. Oh, um, yeah. If you got this list open and you choose your individual script, you can already see the description of the script right here. And you can see what I just written on here. And in order to check this, I make a numerical input. If this lets me do it, here we go. Open it. Make it an input and put the device in the GT GD200. I make uh, the style black color so it's easier to see. And we make this whatever four digits long. And just push OK, and then you should be all set with that. And if you want to make another one for the GD201, you put the number in the 201 and for your format string for your format string you can put a dot in and put uh, two digits in after the dot this is just gonna be the way it's, it will be displayed which you can see actually here you got your three digits and your two digits after the decimal point the same thing for the display right here choose a numerical display and we choose the G the D1000 
also make this black or we can make it green so we can see that this is a, just a different setup and then we can go ahead and copy that and put the address D1001 in and this is the programming and off we go to the simulation as you can see down here the simulation for the GX works is already running and now we can run the simulation for the GT designer Just move this over here and open the GT, uh, open the GX works to it, and then we can see both items changing. And if we put a number in here, let's just say one, two, three, we can see it's going to be transferred over to the PLC to the T to the D1000, and you can see this on here and here. You just put a three hundred or point zero three in whatever. And this is also transfer over to the D1000 and you can see this in the display right here. And if we change the numbers to whatever you want to, to choose, you can see the changing on here and the feedback on here. And this is how easy it is to program the script data transfer for the GOT2000 from Mitsubishi. Thank you for watching.